Hi. Now, in this question, we're told that the figure shows the graph of the curve with the equation y equals 16 over x squared minus x over 2 plus 1 for x greater than 0. And we have this finite region r bounded by the lines x equals 1, the x-axis, and the curve is shown shaded. The curve also crosses the x-axis at this point here for 0. And what we've got to do is complete the table with values of y corresponding to x equals 2 and 2.5. And then go on to use the trapezium rule with all the values in the completed table to find an approximate value for the area of r, giving our answer to two decimal places. So if this is something you'd like to try, just give you a moment to pause the video. Don't forget you can also check out videos on my website on the trapezium rule. Website is examsolutions.net. Okay, well, first of all, nice easy one here. Just got to fill in our y value when x is 2. So you just need to substitute it in here. So you've got 16 over 2 squared minus 2 over 2 plus 1. And if you work that out, it comes to simply 4. Substitute 2.5 into here and you'll find that you get 2.31. Okay? Now in the next part we've got to use the trapezium rule then with all these values in this table. And somehow the trapezium rule tends to cause so many problems. I don't really know why. I think it's because of the formula. Trying to work out the width of intervals that seems to bring people down. It's just so easy. All you've got to do is just look at the table you're given and you can see the width of a strip. We're going up in intervals here of 0.5. So that's the width of our strip. What we've got, not that you have to draw this in, is that let's say this is 2.5. And we've got here at 1, we've got this one here is going to be at 1.5. And you can see that the width is a half a unit. This one here is going to be at 3. And this height here, very negligible, is at 3.5. So what we're doing is, by the trapezium rule, just thinking of this as trapezia like this. Okay, so our estimate, by the way, that we get, because sometimes you ask that, in this example, will be an overestimate because we're going to be working out the air of the trapeziums and they are above the graph. Okay, so uh, how do we go about this? Well, very briefly, the area is always the width of a strip divided by two, and then you just have to do the first height. That would be this height here, which is 16.5 plus twice the sum of all the middle heights. So it would be this height, this height, this height, and this height added together. And then we add the last height, which in this case is going to be zero. So if we put the working in, what we've got is that that area then is approximately equal to, all right, because we're not getting the actual area of R, we're overestimating it in this example, is going to be the width of a strip, so that's 0.5 for the width, divide that by 2, okay, so we've got that bit, multiply it by the first height, and the first height, this one here when x is 1, is 16.5. Then we add twice the sum of all the middle heights, okay, that's the 7.361, plus the 4, plus 2.31, plus 1.278, plus the 0.556. So that's twice the sum then of all the middle heights, and then plus the last height. I'm going to actually put that in. I know it's going to be have no effect here, but uh, nonetheless, just put it in for the sake of it. Use your calculator, work that out, what do you get? You end up with 11.8775. And we're told to give this to two decimal places. So to two decimal places, this is going to be 11.88, okay? I'm going to write square units. You don't have to do that, okay? 
but uh, it is an area so 11.88 square units to 2dp if we can just squeeze that in there 2dp all right